Technology has been a major disruptor in the music industry and it's created ways for a new generation of independent musos to bring their signature sounds to the market. One of these up-and-coming indie acts is Cine 400 and Karishma met up with them in Cape Town. There's more to making a band than just having a good idea for a name. But this Cape Town-based foursome has made the challenging journey from garage to stage and studio. I'm really excited because today I get to meet the next big thing to hit the South African airwaves. But the Sunny 400 are not just your average boy band, so let's meet them and find out what gives them the edge. Karishma had arrived just in time to hear the band put the finishing touches to their new release. Hello. Hey, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Very good, thank you. Yeah, we've got about a minute left in this take. Awesome. It sounds really good. Cine 400 is made up of Kaz on guitar and vocals. Ozzy on bass and vocals, Rob on guitar and keyboard. And Ken on drums. How do you all know each other? Well, I met uh, Aki a few school. years ago through school. I met friends. Rob at UCT. And I met Kennedy at UCT as well. But why did you guys decide to start a band? For the love of the music. He happened to be a drummer. He happened to be an excellent guitar player. He happened to be a bass player. So it was a very convenient friendship to have. Can you tell me a bit more about the band? What's your musical journey been like thus far? I would describe our music as sort of indie rock. But I mean, we all listen to different sorts of music, so all of that naturally sort of comes into our sound. Like, Ken, you grew up in a lot of gospel. Yeah. Rob was into a lot of 90s, American, 80s, heavy stuff. Mm. Israel and I share the same interests, though. We're both inspired by the Beatles, the Kings, the Greys from the 60s. We're recording a single uh, at the moment in this amazing facility, and um, we're on our way out. We have a very busy day. Um, we're using a photo shoot, and we'd love for you to join us. That sounds great. Let's get to it. She's gone. Alright guys, let's move to the next part, down there. How would you describe the style of the band? It's quite a new sound and it's quite a, a unique sound that people definitely like. It's influenced by old bands, but it's quite modern as well. Well, I'm really enjoying the style and the look of the band thus far, but I know the guys are waiting for you to get back to the shoot, so let's go find them. Cool. One, two, three, my Guys, I am so curious. Tell me a bit more about the name of the band. The Cine 400 was an old cinema, the exact meeting point between myself and Arkham's homes. It served as a sort of community meeting point. And parallels can be drawn between that and our music because our music aims to sort of create a sense of community and unite the fragments of society. As a songwriter, Kaz sees music as a means of documenting memories. The aim is to create an idealized personal vision of the moment, using melody to evoke the emotion. How do you come up with your music and your lyrics? If I'm going through something that I'm emotionally invested in, say for example, something to do with love, and then I write about love, Tell me a bit more about your new single. The new single is called She's Gone. It's essentially a song about like unrequited love, sort of nostalgic look at relationship that has since ended. What are some of the obstacles you have had to face as a band? I would say the biggest obstacle is actually finding a studio where you feel that your music can be conveyed properly. Another obstacle with creating a band is finding uh, members and we're really lucky in the sense that we found guys that really mix well together. to achieve with your music? We would love to emulate our heroes. I mean, we all grew up idolizing the great bands which inspire us, and we hope to follow in their steps, I guess. We'd like to be a band for everyone. 
What's next for the Sydney 400? Well, we're releasing an EP which has uh, three songs. We're planning on playing live shows throughout the Western Cape in the coming few months. Yeah, the other thing was always well is to create a new sound that can be identified as South African, but as well it can be acceptable to all nations, all races, all colours, all age groups, all over uh, the world. We also hope to, in the near future, go on tour and so throughout South Africa and hopefully internationally as well. International, yeah. Thank you so much for letting me hang out with you today. It was so cool getting to know you guys and following your process and I will definitely be listening out for you on the airwaves. Thank you very much. Ooh, Thank yeah, you for having you. Pleasure. Sydney 400 are a great group of guys with a great story and an awesome sound and I personally cannot wait to hear more of what they have to offer. So I suggest you keep your ears peeled to the radio.